some trails with this homemade groomer and this 1979 Skidoo Everest 444 liquid. So stay tuned. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. All right, so we're going to check and see about going to get the old uh, the old cross country ski groomer out of the uh, out of the sugar shack up there. So there's a whole bunch of treasures in there too. So we'll go and uh, we'll go and check that out. All right, so we're getting into abandoned skidoo territory. Here's the old sugar shack. All kinds of treasures are waiting there, but lying out back is an old 1978 Everest 440 fan cooled and. Uh, yeah, about that sled, I guess, 20 odd years ago. But uh, it's been sitting out here for probably about 10 years. So, pretty sure we can get started again at some point. It's complete, it's just under a whole lot of snow. So, that's a future project. Carrying on, carrying on. So, here we are, getting up to the old sugar shack. And, uh, yeah, gotta get to the door. About at least a good foot and a half of hard snow. It's been snow for about two weeks, but anyhow. So we gotta get in here and uh, we could break in through that window, but I'd rather get through the door because we gotta pull out that cross country ski groomer. So I'm gonna shovel our little, shovel a little way out, in, I should say. So. All right, pretty soon we'll be able to just crawl right through it. All right, let's get shoveling. All right, so we shoveled our, ourselves a little bit of an access way and uh, we're gonna open up this door for the first time in, well, I've, I've, I haven't been in this for a couple of years now. <sighs> oh, shoot. So we're jumping. A lot more stuff than what I remember. An old free here. Old fashioned rototiller. All right, what else do I see here? Maybe an old TNT. An old TNT there. Oh, a cement mixer. Some kind of old, old skidoo frame. Maybe an Olympic or something. I think that's an old late 70s blizzard frame. Whew. What's that? Nordic? It's gonna be Nordic, eh? Gas tank and what's back there? Old 72, 73 Olympic. All right, no raccoons, we're good. Okay, now, what did I come here for? That cross country ski groomer. If I remember, it was lying around up against the door or something, eh? back here uh, okay maybe it's under this uh, 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 uh. Mm? no all right oh there it is I can see it I can see it all right I have to move some of this crap over and uh and then haul the thing out. It might not be seized up. It doesn't look like it's seized up. Is that an old Gilson? Sure is. All right. All right. I'm going to uh, start digging this out. Check back in a few seconds. Hang in there. We're getting there. All right. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We got to it, the old cross-country ski groomer. Whoo! We got to it. This thing hasn't been used in, I don't know how long, but uh, I'm probably like, I'd probably say about 15 years maybe. But, uh, and it probably has only been ever used maybe five or six times. I don't think it was that great, so, I mean, we'll see, but. Anyways, we got a bunch of stuff out of there. So that was an old, that was an old TNT cab, uh, and uh, then this was like a 
Kawasaki something frame, and then there's this big wheel. I don't know if that's like a, not like a wagon, but I don't think there's enough spokes on it for that. I'm not sure what that would be. It's old, and uh, it's a little broken. It's a little rotten. Yeah, it's a square nail and uh, all wood. Mostly wood. I mean, it's got that metal center. It's got a flange on the other side, kind of like a cross, but uh, anyhow. And then, uh, yeah, so that's going to be fun. We'll have to drag that out, and I'll just throw it over the side and come get it with a skidoo. All right. Carrying on. So it's out. It's heavy, but it's out. So uh, let's get this guy hooked up. I'm just worried that my bolt's not going to be long enough. Right. Up or down? Let's put it. Finger tight. Oh, let's see if we got something to tighten it up in the old toolbox. Uh, I think I brought some. There we go. Let's tighten it up. We don't want to come and loosen the trails. That's good. Good. Let's 
go make some trails. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we made those trails two days ago and it rained all day yesterday and the sled's been sitting out here. So let's check and see how many pulls it takes to get it started. And uh, we're gonna go put this groomer back where we took it out of the sugar shack. So let's check and see if we can get this thing started. First pull, let's see. So what's really great about this uh, this groomer is that it weighs a ton. So uh, not only do you get a great workout when you actually go skiing on the trails it made, but uh, trying to put it away is uh, is quite a hassle as well. So uh, yeah.
there you have it folks skiing away just uh, another day here in paradise a little cookout a little cookout and uh, eating some sausages yeah some kraut I was lazy today took the sleigh and the old snowmobile so uh, yeah Ugh. just you know living the life Oh yeah, living the good life. Ugh. Living the great life. That's how I roll. Signing out.